This video is on multiplication theorem of probability. See here, the theorem statement states that in a random experiment, if E1, E2 are two events, such that probability of E1 is not equal to 0 and probability of E2 is not equal to 0, then probability of E1 intersection E2 is equal to probability of E1 into probability of E2 given E1. And next probability of E2 intersection E1 is equal to probability of E2 into probability of E1 given E2. So, we have to prove this one. So, before going into the proof, we need the definition of the conditional probability. See, coming to the conditional probability, so here is the definition. If E1 and E2 are two events in a sample space S, and probability of E1 not equal to 0, then the probability of E2 after the event E1 has occurred. See first, E1 should happen first, then E2 should happen. So, this is the condition. E is called the conditional probability of the E1, E2 given E1. So, see here, this is E2 given E1 and E is denoted by probability of E2 given E1. See here, Probability of E2 given E1 is equal to probability of E1 intersection E2 by probability of E1 and it is also given that probability of E1 is not equal to 0 from this. First of all, the thing E1 should happen and after that E2 should happen. The condition that before E2, E1 should happen. That is, probability of E2 given E1 is equal to probability of E1 intersection E2 by probability of E1. See here, in the denominator there is E1 and if you observe, there is E1 in the denominator. And see, similarly, probability of E1 given E2. So, before the happening of event E1, E2 should happen. So, that is probability of E1 given E2 is equal to same probability of E1 intersection E2 by probability of E2. So, there is only one thing to remember in the denominator if there is E1, so there will be E1 here. If there is E2, there will be E2. So, this intersection part is common for both the things. See, first of all, E1 should happen after the event before. So, if you observe this one, E1 should happen first before the happening of E2 and here E2 should happen first then E1. So, this is the conditional probability and this is how we have to remember this uh, formula. So, using this formula, let us get started to find out the proof of this. See, for finding the proof, so proof of this statement, multiplication theorem. So, first of all, let S be a sample space. Let S be the sample space and E1, E2 are two events. E1, comma, E2 are two events. Two events of S and probability of E1 is not equal to 0 and probability of E2 it is not equal to 0. Since probability of E1 is not equal to 0 by the definition of, see here we are using the definition, by the definition of conditional probability, by the definition of, this is a conditional probability. By the definition of conditional probability, we have probability of E2 given E1 is equal to, first there is an intersection, that is P1 intersection, E1 intersection E2 divided by, see here in the denominator there is E1, so I am writing probability of E1, so is it not easy to remember, see and now if I cross multiply it, then this will be probability of E1 into probability of, this is E2 given E1 is equal to probability of E1 intersection E2. Therefore, therefore it is very easy that probability of E1 intersection E2 is equal to, this is probability of E1 dot probability of E2 given E1 and the next since probability of E2 not equal to 0 see here 
and it is also given that probability of e2 not equal to 0 and by the definition of the conditional probability by the definition of uh, conditional probability see here if probability of e2 is not equal to 0 then by the conditional probability we have probability of even given e2 is equal to see for both the things intersection is common probability of even intersection e2 divided by see here there is e2 in the denominator and so i'm writing probability of e2 so if i cross multiply then this will be probability of e2 into probability of even given e2 is equal to this is probability of even intersection e2 therefore see here probability of even intersection e2 is equal to this is probability of e2 dot probability of even given e2 so this is the second condition see here it's very easy so coming to the multiplication theorem of probability the statement here is in a random experiment if even e2 are any two events such that probability of even not equal to 0 and probability of e2 not equal to 0 then probability of even intersection e2 is equal to probability of even see here it's very easy to cancel this one see remember like that even here and even in the numerator and denominator and see e2 in the numerator and denominator likewise you remember and write the uh, definition here so prob uh, probability of even intersection e2 is equal to probability of even dot probability of e2 by even and similarly probability of e2 intersection even is equal to probability of even into probability of even given e2 see here coming to the proof here let is is a sample space even e2 are two events of the sample space s and it is also given that probability of even not equal to 0 and probability of e2 not equal to 0 since probability of even not equal to 0 by the definition of the conditional probability so from the definition probability of e2 by even is equal to probability of even intersection e, e2 by probability of even so if i cross multiply so this will be the answer and therefore we need probability of even intersection e2 as probability of even into probability of e2 given even so this is our first thing the next one as we have probability of e2 is not equal to 0 so probability of e2 is uh, not equal to 0 then by the definition of the conditional probability we have probability of even given e2 is equal to probability of even intersection e2 by see here in the denominator there is e2 i'm writing e2 if i cross multiply this will be probability of e2 into probability of even given e2 is equal to probability of even intersection e2 therefore we have probability of even intersection e2 or e2 intersection even so we can write it as e2 intersection even as probability of e2 into probability of even given e2 so these are the two conditions so according to the multiplication theorem of probability see here according to the multiplication theorem we are using this conditional probability from this conditional probability if e2 should happen even should happen first so this is the first event and this is the second event remember this is the first event and this is the second event so with this condition we say that it is a conditional probability see and it is read as probability of e2 given e1 and e1 given e2 so using this with if you cross multiply definitely we'll be getting this multiplication theorem of probability thank you so much for watching and if you really like please practice and pass it on to your friends